Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday. So look at this. Look at this ribbon I got. How boho am I? It's like, it's so cute. And there's my doggy. That's Charlie. If you're new here, that's the love of my life. My boyfriend, my man. So if you want to be boho with me, I got this at Anthropology. No, this is not sponsored or paid. I wish it was. But this is from Anthropology. I think I saw some of these ribbons at Urban Outfitters too, but super cute, eh? And my hair is totally not long enough to do this whole side pony thing. So I put the ponytail on the side of my head just so the ribbon shows when I'm talking to you. Yeah, that's how much I love this ribbon. But I'm popping in here to say that if you are in a point of your life where you're struggling, you're struggling with your self-confidence and you don't know where to start. So I've gotten a lot of messages lately about how do I be confident? How do I be confident in my body? How do I stop comparing myself to others, especially on this crazy app? I call it the Instagram Zoo. Hopefully my Instagram post can help you with that. But if you want to dive in deeper and actually do the work, because it requires work. It's not just about reading hacks about how to be confident. And it's not about, you know, the power pose and shoulders back. There's a lot more deep self-reflection work that that has to be done in order to create confidence in your life. Keyword, create. Because I always say, confidence is not about feeling pretty. It's not that, that's, that's silly. Confidence is about continuously creating a sense of empowerment within yourself. And in order to feel empowered, you have to go inward. You have to find out what makes me feel confident. And then you gotta dig even deeper and be like, what the hell is standing in my way? Because if confidence was just about posting a bikini picture on Instagram, shit, like we'd all be, and I say that because three years ago, I was that girl who thought that confidence was about feeling good in a bikini, having abs, and then posting it on Instagram to get validated. And then I was like, oh, okay, well, this will help my confidence. But then it never helped my confidence. And then I was sitting in my dark apartment, binge eating, and it escalated. And it wasn't until I started doing the work. And by the work, I mean the unsexy work. Like the work where you have to find shit out about yourself that you probably don't even want to know about yourself in the first place. It wasn't until I started doing that that I actually figured out like, okay, there's more. So what is this work? This is the work that I do with my private coaching clients. We dig deep, we uncover, we discover, we cultivate, we create, we do all the things. But because I can't coach every single one of you, although I wish I could, I have created a workbook for you on confidence. It's 35 pages of those deep self-reflection exercises, questions that I would ask my private clients. I've put those in a workbook to help you overcome comparison, conquer self-doubt, be more confident in your body, address that nasty inner critic, that self-talk that we always have. It's also structured like a five-day challenge. So if you start today, you can feel more confident by Saturday. So if you do the work, I guarantee that you will feel a transformation five days from now. So swipe up here to get that book and I love you. And if you've already gotten the confidence guide and you felt a difference in that five day challenge, reply to this story here. I would love to hear your experience because this is what I live for. Like transforming your confidence, making sure you know how amazing and powerful and just downright worthy you are of that. Like the self-worth, I think that's the number, I, I say that word self-worth and I get chills all over my body because most women will go their whole lives and not know what it's like to feel truly worthy. And I don't know about you, but that makes me sad and depressed because have you ever been in a spot where you're just so hopeless? You're like, things will always be this way. I'll always struggle with my confidence. I'll always be insecure. Some people have it and I don't. I'm just doomed. I had a client who was a mom of teenagers and she literally came to me saying, I will die with low self-worth. I will die with an eating disorder. I will die not knowing what it's like to have sex with my husband and feel sexy. And that hit me. And she had teenage daughters and both of them struggled with eating disorders. And I think at that point, one of them was already hospitalized. And I couldn't even imagine the guilt and shame she felt that she has passed on some of her insecurities to her children because she didn't address them early on. So I'm telling you, do that unsexy and uncomfortable work now. Because by learning to love yourself, you give others permission to do the same. Like, just let that sink in. When you love yourself, others can too. And that's a gift you're giving to people. Just let that thought and that purpose sink in because it's more than about just feeling pretty or wearing a bikini to the beach. I know I talk about that a lot, but it's more than about that. It's about how do you show up in this world? What energy do you exude? What do you empower others to do? A little deep for Tuesday morning, but necessary. I woke up this morning and I was like, ah, everybody's going to be confident and love themselves. And now you get it on my Instagram story. So I hope that empowered you. I will link the confidence guide here again. So swipe up to get it.